Come on, I was bound to miss one or two. Hello guys, where are you? David DeFranca here from davidsthings.com. Now I'm saying that website for a very specific reason, because every single game that I will be showing in today's video can be found on that very website. Again, davidsthings.com, check it out right below. All right, so it's been quite a while since I've talked about my video game collection, and because I've been playing my Xbox One a lot more than my PS4 lately, I figured I would start with my Xbox One for today, and then in just a few days, I'll do the same exact thing for my PlayStation 4. And eventually my Wii U. I've only gotten one new Wii U game in recent months, and I haven't even opened it yet. I know, I know. I should be slapped. But what can I say? The Xbox One and PS4 hold my attention more than the Wii U does. The Wii U is not a bad console, it's just I'm a lot more focused on what Sony and Microsoft have to offer. So anyway, let's get right into it. A few thoughts for each game. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. First up, Rise of the Tomb Raider. What can I say? Incredible game. It's just overall a very high quality experience. And I played this before playing Fallout 4. And let me tell you, going from this to Fallout 4 is like going from a mansion to a shack. Completely different experiences, especially in the quality control department. Now that's not to say Fallout 4 is a terrible game, it's just in my opinion, one of the most overhyped games I have ever played in my entire life. And I'm not just saying that. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about Fallout 4 because believe me, I have a lot more to say about that in my PS4 collection video. Anyway, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Awesome game, I loved every minute of it. Okay, so is this better than the previous Tomb Raider reboot? I don't know. This is technically more advanced and more impressive, but there's something about the previous Tomb Raider game that I enjoyed more in terms of level design. But even with that said, both games are excellent. They stand out on their own, and if you have not played this yet, please do so. You're doing yourself a huge favor by introducing this into your gaming life. It really is that good. And speaking of good, Rare Replay. 30 games for $30. What more can I say about that? Well, besides the fact that I didn't play this nearly as much as I thought I would, but still, it's good to relive some of those childhood memories. Banjo-Kazooie, Viva Pinata, what else? Killer Instinct Gold, Perfect Dark. Ooh, Perfect Dark. Yeah, good times, good times. Cameo Elements of Power. Never really got too into Cameo, but still, it was cool to see it on here. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, whew, one of my all-time favorite games, mainly because of the fact that it was very mature for its time. Now, unfortunately, we do not have GoldenEye and Donkey Kong Country, for obvious reasons. But still, for $30, you're not going to beat this. And actually, you can probably get it for cheaper than $30 now. All right, speeding up a bit, Mortal Kombat XL, great game. This is basically Mortal Kombat X, but with all the DLC. Awesome. And those fatalities and x-ray moves, ooh, ooh, they are brutal. Sunset Overdrive. I'm ashamed to say that I took so freaking long to play this gem. This is a masterpiece. Not only because it's downright beautiful, it's so much freaking fun to play, but it's hilarious. Very few games make me laugh out loud, but this game, I find myself laughing every few minutes, seriously, it is that good. If you have not played this yet, please do so. I got it for really cheap. You can probably get it for even cheaper now. Amazon, boom, make it happen. Or just go to davisthings.com, start from there, then go to Amazon, it helps me out. Wolfenstein, The New Order. Just wanted to make sure I said that right. For some reason, I wanted to call it The New Power. Anyway, Wolfenstein, The New Order, great game. Not excellent, not terrible. It's enjoyable. I'm not gonna speak in past tense because unfortunately I've not finished the career yet, single player, whatever you wanna call it, the story. But from what I've played so far, and I've played most of it, pretty solid. Nothing overly exciting though. Far Cry 4, limited edition. Great game, overhyped, mechanically challenged. Yes, this game is not very polished. It's almost on the level of Fallout 4 in my opinion, but I did enjoy it enough to the point where I finished the story. Great game. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Man, this game takes up so much space on my hard drive. Or did I get rid of it? I forget. This collection right here, every Halo game starring Master Chief, you need to own this if you have an Xbox One. No excuse, especially if you never got around to playing the original games. Okay, so this basically includes four Halo games. 
Halo Combat Evolved, the Anniversary Edition, meaning it's remastered, a remastered version of Halo 2 Anniversary, which is awesome, and finally Halo 3 and Halo 4, which are not remastered, but come on, there's no excuse, guys. Add this to your collection. Now, granted, I didn't play it as much as I should have, but I am still glad to say that I own this game. It's mine, and I will get around to beating every Halo game eventually. However, I do have one thing to say. Halo Combat Evolved, I never want to experience the library again. One of the most boring and frustrating gaming experiences ever. I love Halo, but the library can suck it. Destiny, awesome game. Unfortunately, I didn't put as much time into this as I should have because eventually I got the PlayStation 4 version of Destiny, but still, either version you buy, Destiny, I think is not overrated and not overhyped. This is a quality bungee experience and you can sink many, many hours into it. A lot of people seem to hate Destiny, but you know what? As I missed the case, I love it. I have to play it again. Shout out to Danny Mac, I promise. We'll get together again soon and continue our destiny. Destiny. Do you hear the wind chimes? It's very windy today. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Didn't really like this all that much. I played it for maybe a half an hour. I don't know, maybe I just wasn't in the mood the day I tried to play it. So perhaps I'll try it again, but I didn't see what all the fuss was about. Titanfall. One of the, mo actually the most overhyped game I own for Xbox One. And guys, you know what? That's my own damn fault. I was so hyped to play this. It was fun for like the first hour. I mean, ejecting yourself from a freaking huge Titan just felt incredible. But then you did it over and 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 over again. Yes, that was very annoying. Picture what I just did, but in video game form. Highly repetitive. Need for Speed Rivals. I put it in for 30 minutes, beautiful game, but I didn't put the time in that I should have because I got this for Christmas. I believe I got it for Christmas. But basically I was playing other games at the time. However, you have my word, I will come back to this eventually. I'm sure it's very good. Battlefield 4. I own this for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Whew. Graphically speaking, incredible experience. This is what a next-gen console game should look like. They did a phenomenal job, especially in the lighting department. Seriously guys, there are very few games available for consoles today that are on the same level of graphical quality that Battlefield 4 represents. Hey, I enjoyed it and I just think the single player experience is a masterpiece. It is cinematic as hell. Rise, Son of Room. This is an underhyped game. I thought it was incredible. Sure, it's a bunch of quick time events, but you know what? They did a fine job, beautiful game. This is the first game that really wowed me in terms of graphics on the Xbox One. Oof. Great experience, very short. You can beat it in maybe what, like six hours? But you know what? No regrets. I enjoyed it. Call of Duty Ghosts. I might as well throw this case right now, but no, I like to take care of my games. Seriously though, Call of Duty Ghosts, fun single player experience, but multiplayer, huge, huge letdown. How the hell do you leave out Capture the Flag? That really pissed me off. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Ah, my love for Call of Duty returned. This game was so much fun. It fixed everything that I hated about Call of Duty Ghosts, but hence the title, it was very advanced, so. Good times. Dead Rising 3, in my opinion, an overhyped game. Still enjoyable enough to play. The cinematics were fun as hell to watch. The gameplay was fun, but the actual gameplay mechanics, very sloppy. Forza 5 Motorsports, awesome game. Beautiful, 1080p, 60 frames per second. I believe it's 1080p. Awesome experience overall. And finally, ending it with my favorite game at the moment, Rainbow Six Siege. Whew. This is a quality experience. This is how you do online multiplayer with strategy and team play. Careful planning. Seriously guys, there is such a good feeling when you breach a wall and on the other side of that wall is an enemy. You scare the crap out of them, boom! You take them out. Awesome, awesome, awesome experience. 
Whew, I love you, Siege. If I could make sweet, sweet love to you, I probably would because this game is that good. It does have server issues here and there. Sometimes it can take up to five minutes to find a match. That doesn't usually happen, but it sometimes can happen. But guys, take my word for it. Once you do get into a consistent round of matches, you will thank me once you add this to your collection. Seriously, if you have a PS4 or Xbox One, buy it right now. And I'm sure it's on PC too. I don't see why not. I am so sorry. Oh, by the way, Rainbow Six Siege also includes two free games, which are Rainbow Six Vegas and Rainbow Six Vegas 2. So, just a quick note for you. Wait, hold up. I interrupt my own video for an interruption that I think is required because I forgot a very important game. It's just in a different case, so I overlooked it like an idiot. Hello 5. Boom. I believe this is the limited edition. Yep. Limited edition, it says it right there. Cannot believe I forgot to say this. Excellent game. I haven't played Forge yet. I'm ashamed to say that because I loved Forge in previous Halo games, uh, but I will be doing that soon. All right, back to the video. Anyway, there is my collection with plenty more games to follow in the near future. I love my Xbox One. I also love my PS4. I am not the type to play favorites, but I'm definitely playing my Xbox One more than I am my PS4 right now. But that will change in the very near future because I will be getting the division for PS4 soon. I'm just organizing the pile of games. All right guys, so it's your turn. What games did I not show in this collection that I should buy myself? And of course, don't forget to go to davidstings.com to check out my game collection for Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, as well as a variety of other consoles. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means a lot, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.